90% of my kids at our school come from poverty. So my students, many of them, eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner at my school, Monday through Thursday. So, um, so that takes care of their needs during the week, pretty much. But on the weekends, uh, food is a huge issue for many of my kids, and um, families struggle with that. Kids told me it helps me because we don't buy snacks. My mom can't afford snacks. We're serving 8,200 kids a week across Northwest Arkansas. We are in 146 schools in all four counties, Washington, Benton, Madison, and Carroll counties. This year we have expanded to serving Head Starts to high school age students, so all the way from three to 18 year olds receive snack packs on a weekly basis. This is our first year at Central to have snack packs. I contacted Ms. Faytac and she asked Dr. Grieb if she could do the whole snack packs program. So then I got snack packs and then here at the store we distribute them by putting them in the family's boxes to go home. We had started just researching poverty in Arkansas and then we started seeing the um, effect that poverty and how it kept children from learning and how it kept them from having the necessities. So we started to think of ideas of how we could help and without being exactly how everyone else tries to help, we thought that maybe a, installing a thrift store in our program would help our students in our school and hopefully go to the rest of uh, the schools in Springdale. So we thought that this would be the biggest and best way we could help. Right now, we spend about $16,000 a week on food for the program, um, you know, just over $60,000 a month, but we are still missing kids. We have 24 schools and about 1,500 kids on our wait list. It's the first time in my four school years here that we've ever had that, and it's um, heartbreaking to talk to the counselors at those schools and know that they're going home every night worrying about those kids, and we all are too. You know, our whole staff really gets concerned and stressed out about those kids knowing that they're out there needing snack packs and that, that we can't get them to them yet. And it costs $80 a year to sponsor a child to receive snack packs during the school year. That'll get them a bag every week for 33 weeks. I decided to choose this project because I felt as if it was just more important and I felt like I had I'd known people for a long time in my younger grades that I knew needed help and there was no way for me to help then. So I felt like now was the best time that I could do it. This is my first year in East and I didn't know many things about product, projects that we had. So I decided to do things with community. And I feel like it's a good thing for every student to help with the community and do things such as the thrift store. I am the manager, you could say, and I, I feel like it's very helpful and I feel like I'm doing my part in the community and not, you know, some students are not really like, they don't really know what's going on at school, but I do. I see things around school that are very, they're very sad to see and I feel like if I do this and I'm helping that student out, I know that they're going to be okay, that I know that they're going to be, you know, they're going to take into gratitude that I'm helping them. Um, the thrift store is a very big project. I really enjoy helping all students here at Central and maybe I'm bigger because I do Bright Future so I am able to help other people and Samaritan really helps us as a group send snack packs home for students.